Hey guys, welcome to Social Soda. I'm Ria, and today we are going to be asking UCL students what their thoughts are on online dating. So, let's go find them. The question we are asking today is, what are your thoughts on online dating? So, it can be very terrifying because you do find some questionable um, people in there, I guess, but it can always end up with a happy ending. Um, so are we speaking <laughs> from personal experience here? Yeah, I met my boyfriend in on Bumble actually after uh, a period of meeting up with very horrible men. So I guess there's always the light at the end of the tunnel. Because yeah. first year there was no other way to meet people, COVID, yeah. you know? Um, I had good experiences, but that's because I only put the like thing for women because I do not trust men on dating apps. There's no way I'm going on a date with a guy from a dating app. No. Yeah. So I had good experiences, but okay. women. Yeah. Okay. And yourself? Are you? I mean, yeah, same. Like in our first year, uh, we were all in the same halls and like we had nothing to do because he was locked down. So we all just kind of talked to men and it was really entertaining. Um, and swiping makes you feel really powerful. But I personally never have had a good experience with that. So. Like we all but went crazy in first year, yeah. like went on so many dates for from that. Yeah, but I just I have a terrible taste in men, so it might be that anyway. But yeah, don't we all? Do you want to say that she and her boyfriend are together, but they tell everyone they met at the pub? Oh yeah. So uh, there's that. So would you say you're embarrassed to have met on a dating site? I guess I would. Is back when we first met. I don't really care now because a lot of people have met in yeah. dating apps, but yeah, to be fair, my parents think we met on the pub. Yeah, yeah but it's parents. You know, you're not actually going to tell them that you met a random stranger online. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I guess there is a happy ending and that is the story today. Just throwing that first question out there. What are your thoughts on online dating? We create the profile, it takes ages and ages. And then when you start getting likes, you're absolutely addicted to the whole like, is there someone new that likes me? Although I never really like someone back or I don't really like the whole thing so it usually I usually start and then I spend a week trying to find people and then I go on a few dates and then I just can't handle the, the, the constant refreshing looking for new trying to start a conversation having a really awkward conversation with someone so sort of used it more for like validation maybe it was like more of a game of like oh someone likes me oh someone likes me again and like even if I'd start talking to someone and then I'll be like oh there's another like I, I mm. don't need to focus on that person because I've got no meaningful interaction or connection with them so I'm like why why do I need to focus on this person when I've literally exchanged like four te four messages with them I've yeah. got no commitment to them so it's quite easy to move on to something else but like there is less respect i feel like than if it was like in person because like you said if you send a few messages it's like oh i might just leave them on red whereas like you'd never like if someone asked you in person you would never just like turn around and walk the other way and it just like streamlines the process because yeah. like from your bedroom yeah, like whilst revising <laughs> you might be matching with someone and then you'll go on a date with them yeah. rather than like having to not do the work, but like you might not have much of a social life at that time, so it kind of like skips the, the yeah. end. Especially if you have options like Ruben here, then it's a it's an easy it's an easy ride. The question of the day: What are your thoughts on online dating? Personally, I like right now. I feel like it's a little bit like inorganic, um, but like I can appreciate that. I don't know if you get to like a certain age, like twenty four something, and you're trying to like look for something, and like everyone in your immediate vicinity is not, you know doing it for you then like I can see how online dating would be quite useful and practical because when it boils down to it it's quite superficial it's just like swiping based on like being honest like appearance so. they function to like get people to meet each other in like a in organic way I don't know or yeah in a way that like is helpful a cultural thing as well because like I mean coming from like in like South Asian culture there's like a point at which like people are like, oh, you need to get married at like this age. Find someone ASAP, basically. Oh. You're 25 and you haven't found someone, then it's like, okay, now yeah, I need no. to like speed run like people and be like, okay, oh, find yeah. my wife. Like, yeah. that's why like, I think like shardy.com and stuff is. Yeah, that's an interesting, so, but I think that's an interesting point because like, I think, I guess like Tinder exists for a different set of users compared to like most Well, no, no, it's like the demographic or the user base for Tinder is very different to the user base for. Shardy.com. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. shardy.com. Yeah. Use shardy.com is the, the new <laughs> message <laughs> instead of Tinder. <laughs> Online dating, quite the controversial topic on campus today. 
we've had a whole mixed bag of emotions from some willing to try their hand at it, while others just not really up for it at all. But we hope you've enjoyed watching Social Soda and we shall see you next time.